I'm trying to get on Hollywood Live right now to do a quick little interview. Give me one minute. She, okay, set the request. I am not very savvy with this stuff. Uh, na, 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 na. One minute. Is it right here? Oh, there we go. Waiting for a Hollywood life. Hi, Nick. Hold on. Let me switch this around. I know. I'm like, we're staring at your lovely pool. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Wait, look, I'm at my parents' house. Oh, look what God. I just found. <laughs> wow. It's like, cool. do you even know what this is? Yeah, totally. <laughs> it's a CD. I mean, when was the last time we saw one of those? Oh, I know. I know. It's good how? to see you. It's so good to see you too. How are you doing? Um, I'm doing good. I'm just um, right now in in Vegas doing the whole quarantining thing. Um, yeah. And but everything is really good. I've just been taking care of the kids and you know raising the family, um, doing that whole thing. Yes. Congrats on being a girl dad. What has that been like having a girl versus having a boy? Um, it's really been so rewarding just because you know um she is she's just I, I waited for we waited so long for her um you know obviously my wife uh we we had uh, some problems with with our the first baby um that we unfortunately lost um uh but but we waited and and we like to say that she came back to us um and we were i mean we didn't know if it, it necessarily you know what it would if it was going to work if it was going to happen but but it did and and i'm just so grateful that it did and and you know just just her smile just the way that that she reacts you know she always wants to be held um mm. she always she's just such she's just a love bug and and you know it's definitely different but um the connection between the father and daughter is is incredible I, i'm very very happy to have it Overprotective, are we? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so much has happened, I feel like, in the last two days with the Backstreet Boys. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. you guys are being forced to cancel the DNA tour. So disappointed. Um, but you are looking at 2021 as a reschedule. So can you kind of talk a little bit about that? Um, the 2021, um, obviously, we're, we're more concerned about, you know, people's safety and everyone's health out there, um, that is that is first and foremost, you know. And you know the way the way I see it is that when when things get back to to normal, um, you know, we're entertainers, and and you know we we will be there for people when they want to have you know that moment to to get away, um, you know, and to to kind of you know Backstreet Boys is um, you know what we represent is. Um, just feel good music, you know, and, and that moment to kind of like, to just get away a little bit. And um, yeah, it's, it's where we, we look forward to the moment that we can actually entertain our fans again. And, and, uh, but right now, you know, we know that everyone that like health is, is more important than anything. And, um, and, and it's important to be home. So, you know, I, I, it, I like to say this is sort of a, um, you know, it's a little bit of a silver lining because, you know, my daughter is seven months and, mm. you know, my, my son, you know, he just turned uh, four. So I, I do get an opportunity to sort of just be normal again and, and you know, live, um, just live a normal life. And, and that's, that's okay with me. And, and so I get to be there. And, and it, it, like right now, um, I would have been over in, in New Zealand and in Australia on tour right around this time. Um, and I prob and I definitely would have been away from my family and I've been away from my kids. So um, again, I'm, you know, will be there. Yes, there you go. I'm like, really? That's does okay. It, does That's does okay. it pause? I'm so not used to this, this Instagram live stuff. So, but it is what it is. It's working from home vibes. Okay, so the tour is postponed till 2021. What about new music, though? Do you think, like, are you guys talking about being able to record a part and maybe make some new music, and are you guys working on writing right now? Um, we are 
there there are some conversations and talks about some really interesting things that we would like to do this uh, maybe towards the end of the year. Um, I don't want to kind of give away too much, but, you know, it it leans on the side of like the holiday spirit. Um, I'll just just say that. Okay. Uh, uh, And and there's talks, but, you know, we, as, as recording artists, um, you know, we have to find a way and and entertainers right now, you know, the things are on hold. We have to find a way to, to, um, you know, get creative and do things that, um, because we can't get into the studio. To, I mean, it takes all five of us uh, to be together to record. And uh, um, so we're having conversations and talking about different things that we're going to do when it comes to music right now. We were right in the middle of a of a tour. And, um, you know, obviously that got put on hold. Uh, but, um, you know, we're trying to come up with some really interesting things that we could do to, to kind of, um, I don't know, just kind of keep it going. Okay. Now you've stayed in Vegas. So does that mean a potential part two of a residency for you guys? You know, there's always been talk about you guys and NSYNC maybe doing something together too. So any updates? Um, The, well, living in Vegas um, is, I mean, obviously I fell in love with Vegas because uh, we had done the residency for two years and it was, it was very successful and we're very grateful for that. Um, I think we had over a hundred shows that we had done. We were one of the fastest selling artists ever in, in Vegas, um, alongside with Brittany and, uh, everyone else, um, like Celine and all those people. So coming back would be definitely, I think really cool, um, and something to do, but the, we were right in the middle of a world tour and that was and it was a really great tour. It is a really great tour. DNA, you know, it's big, big show, you know, like Backstreet Boys and on top and just like the, the biggest like like production and, you know, and all these different things. And um, and people were really enjoying it. We were getting ready to do our second run. And um, so after that, you know, definitely um, it would be really cool to come back to Vegas. Um, I'm very good friends with all the guys from NSYNC. I actually, I, I owe Chris Kirkpatrick a call back. Sorry, homie. I, I will call you back. Um, I've just been so busy with the kids, you know, like waking up at five in the morning. My daughter, Saoirse, wakes up at right, like around like six o'clock. And it's literally like two kids juggling two kids at the same time, no school and all these things going on. So, um, uh, it, it's, it's a lot, but I owe you a call back, buddy. And yeah, no, it would be cool to, to do some stuff together with, with the guys from NSYNC, you know, um, and just, we had done something in the past with um, the New Kids on the Block, the NKO TBSB mm-hmm. tour. That was a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of the uh, the fans loved that experience. So once everything come when we come out of this entire thing, um, hopefully uh, there'll be people who will be eager and really wanting to, to, to get back out again and to to listen to live music and to watch, you know, watch shows and to be entertained, you know. Okay. So are you still guys, you guys are still open to discussions about doing something together? Because as a mid thirties teeny bopper myself, I think that's what the fans would love to hear. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Like that's the cool thing about um, this industry is that you, you, you can, you know, we had done something with Florida Georgia line, uh, great uh, friends of ours and, and because we had done that, uh, and New Kids in the Block, and and all these different artists, um, you you give the fans such as yourself, you know, uh, um, a, uh, something unique and different that that you never thought would ever happen. And then when those worlds collide, you know, so yeah, a- absolutely, I think um, it it would be really really cool to to collaborate with other artists. What would that look like for you? Um, as far as like, if you and NSYNC, like did something together, what does that look like for you? Like a one-time song, like a performance, one night only concert? Well, you know, I think, um, you got to start maybe, maybe it's a song, you know, um, I had this idea, um, recently that I was thinking about, which I might talk to the guys about as well. Um, you know, about maybe, because I've been doing a lot of philanthropic things lately and, um, and just finding ways to give back, you know, while we're, we're, we're sort of, um, you know, in our quor- everyone's in quarantine and, you know, using technology to, to, to just help people and, and stuff like that. And I thought it'd be really cool to maybe do like a, almost like a, we are the world kind of song, mm-hmm. you know, uh, and, and find a specific charity 
uh, something that could really help, uh, you know, uh, people right now in time of need. Um, you know, and we have all the first responders and all the nurses and doctors who are, who are um, out there risking their lives on a daily basis, you know, uh, people, people like them, you know, and just, just finding ways like trying to create new content and maybe that would be a way to kind of bring in like groups such as this uh, InSync or, you know, all the other boy bands or other artists, but, you know, maybe kind of come up with something that, because I believe that towards the end of the year, um, you know, people are really going to hopefully want to come together and, mm -hmm. um, and, and, and help each other and lift each other's spirits up. And maybe that will come along, along with uh, something to do with the holidays. We'll see. But like well, stuff like that. I mean, I'm literally, I'm, I'm just yeah. rifting, riffing right now. Rifting, rifting. Yeah. On behalf of fans everywhere, I will say I would pay top dollar to see you guys all perform together. And I Thank think you. I speak on behalf of almost almost every fan. Like my friends who I said, oh, I'm talking to Carter today. They're like, oh, my God, that was my first concert. I remember going yeah, in seventh grade with my girlfriends and making the shirts. I mean, you guys are legendary. Thank you. I mean, thank you. You, you know, you guys came up around the same time as the Britneys, the Christinas. Do you still talk to um, Britney, Christina? When was the last time you checked in with them? Um, never really spoke, uh, I think we ran into like Brittany a couple of times, you know, photo shoots and things like that. And Christina, um, you know, the, they're incredible, like, uh, huge fans of theirs. Uh, you know, I know, I think AJ had gone to when, when Brittany was in Vegas, you know, he went mm -hmm. to her show and, uh, got pulled on stage and, you know, um, but we all share a very, uh, you know, the music community it you know it's a, it's a it's a nice uh, it's a small world and and you know we're all respectful towards each other and and they're those they're they come from our era you know that that's right. uh so the the boy bands the 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 late 90s early 2000s and so you know we're super fans of theirs you guys all share that common bond that's for sure um and i do want to talk a little bit about your philanthropy philanthropy work you recently teamed up with Voss and mm -hmm. donated to the frontline heroes at Mount Sinai Brooklyn Hospital mm -hmm. you also teamed up with Happy Family Organics the baby mm -hmm. food brand to donate 10,000 products to Shade Tree and Bruce Square in Las Vegas mm -hmm. why don't you talk to me a little bit about that um yeah again those are like the ways that you have to you have to find um just unique ways to 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 give back when when really what I would love to do and you know have done when we have free time is you know i'll go visit hospitals with the guys um you know we'll go hand out you know food to people um you know just being there it is in and showing you know showing them that you actually care by going and doing these things um is something that you know is important but we can't right now so you know you're using technology and you're using you know uh, your platform, so to speak, to to find ways to get back. And Voss um, and I, we came up with this this way to, because I, I was like, you know, and I had just previously done um, something, you know, with the Ryan Seacrest um, Foundation for the hospitals, and me and AJ and myself and 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 Brian, we we did sort of a hospital visit to to the kids and the nurses there. Uh, and yeah, you just gotta you just gotta be able to you know, find interesting uh, ways to get back. And Voss uh, decided along with me and, and that maybe we could deliver some water to, to you know, Mount, um, Brooklyn, Mount Sinai's hospital. And, and that was, and all the nurse, nurses and doctors were extremely appreciative and, and they were really happy, you know, just to be thought of, you know, right. I think it, it's important, you know, you know, because people are, are really, um, you know, they're going through it right now and especially the frontline heroes. So anyways, it's, um, that was just one of the things. And, and I found myself, you know, I'll, I'll wake up every single day and, you know, I'll look at my daughter and I look at my, my son and, 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 and just know, and just be thankful to God and be grateful that, you know, that they're healthy and happy. And, you know, I, I found my, I went on, um, go, go fund me, which I, this was not a part of, this was something else I just did recently. And, um, cause I'll do that every now and then to try to, try to see if there's something I could do to get back or maybe just maybe find a way to help raise awareness of uh, maybe a cause or, or something like that. And I found a girl who was in the Philippines and who, who really needed a heart surgery. Um, and obviously when the whole COVID stuff uh, was, was going on, you know, it, it kind of, 
you know, push things back for her. And they had a, a, a certain goal that they wanted, you know, financially in order to be able to pay for this heart sur surgery that she was going to fly from the Philippines to America um, to get this procedure done. And so I just decided to just, you know, raise awareness and I donated some money to it. Um, and they were able to go past their goal. Wow. And um, I got an email from the, the gentleman um, who was, who was uh, one of the uh, missionary people uh, who was actually went over there and he had done all these things and it's just things like that you know and that just showing appreciation and, and trying to find a way to to every day when you wake up to just give back and and and, and know that there are, there are people out there so things like that you know I, I find myself doing and now that I have some time and I'm not always on stage and constantly going 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 I, you know I'm definitely doing more. Good. And Father's Day plans is coming up a couple weeks away. So how are you guys going to celebrate? Um, so, I know it's a couple of weeks away. <laughs> it's crazy to think, you know, um, that I'm a father of two children and, um, you know, it, it's, it's the simple, I don't really want much. Uh, I just mm -hmm. really, all I want is to just be able to Again, play with my kids, you know, see my daughter walk around, you know, on, on the carpet and crawling and seeing her, uh, you know, finally walk, just seeing a smile on my kids' faces and, um, you know, just spend a good day with my kids because that's what it's all about. It's about being a father, you know, and, and you know, yeah, I, well, you could say, oh, you want to sleep in or, well, I don't really like <laughs> sleeping in. I find myself getting up at five o'clock every day and I can't stop it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's things like that. Like I just a normal, beautiful day, good, uh, good meals, seeing my children happy. Um, that makes me a happy father. Okay. Well, now that you guys do have this extra time, you, you think that 2021 could be a new album year for the Backstreet Boys? Are you guys like on Zoom calls writing constantly right now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's um, we we are doing zoom calls. We are coming up with some really interesting things that haven't been announced yet, um, uh, that we're going to be able to do on our time off, um, now. And like I said, uh, I think once things lighten up a little bit more, maybe we'll be able to get back in the studio. If not, then maybe we have to do a zoom recording session, but really we are, we are touring our last, um, album that we put out DNA and that was, that's really on the agenda. I mean, we still had, I think it was like two or three or four more countries that we were going to perform for on this, on the second um, end of the, the run. And um, so I, maybe in 2021, we'll, we'll think about some new music. Uh, um, but I think, you know, may, maybe something will be coming, like I said, uh, uh, this holiday season. Cool. Well, Nick, thank you so much. Are you still dancing? I mean, I know we, you know, we know each other very well from our Dancing with the Stars days. Are you still dancing? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I, yeah, that's the only way I could stay in shape is I do my <laughs> boy band moves at, at, in my garage. Is that, is that how you're staying in shape during quarantine? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm taking walks around the neighborhood, you know, pushing baby carriages and, um, you know, swimming in the pool with my son and my daughter and, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I'm putting on a teeny bit of weight, but that's <laughs> just because I'm a little bit more sedentary than I normally am. Yeah. Um, but, but don't worry. Um, I'm, I'll, I'll be in shape uh, when tour starts up again. And uh, extra diaper duty because of quarantine? Absolutely. Um, yeah. Di diaper duty, bottle duty, um, you know, feeding the baby duty, walking the baby duty, everything. I am 100% in when it comes to my children, so. Good. Lauren does not let you miss a beat, I'm sure. No, <laughs> no not at all. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for doing all that charity work. And I think on behalf of fans everywhere, we really look forward to seeing you on the road, hopefully in Vegas and that new album dropping. I've seen your tour. It's amazing. I can't wait to be back. So stay safe oh, and healthy. Thank you. You too. Stay safe and healthy and uh, um, best wishes to you and your family. Likewise. And if you could make sure you save the video because your fans are going to want to see it later, we'd really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks, right. Nick. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.